right i am at huntsville muskoka i'll put links in the description box below it's an airbnb uh we're here for the week we checked in on a monday we're gonna check out on a sunday the entire stay costed us about 1700 dollars canadian oh by the way welcome to a new vlog <laughs> right so this place is about 250 kilometers from where i am at in mississauga it's a two and a half hour drive not too bad a bit too long for me but not too bad but if you are around ontario or if you if you ever come to toronto you have to come to muskoka this place is beautiful now i've taken up an airbnb look at my view that's the lake and i don't think you guys can see it that is the boardwalk which goes into a lake i can probably show it to you but for now we are going to algonquin park We gotta take a bike, put it in the back of the car. Bikes are stashed. Right. Okay. All right. We've just asked information desk over there, and we're gonna just drive all the way and stop wherever we find a good spot. That's what you do. So the the day pass over here is twenty one dollars. You can register your car plate and just stop anywhere you want. Twenty one dollars day pass. Highly recommended. Let's see if it actually is worthwhile. Let's go. So at this point, this is just a trail. We've come from there. And we are slowly trying to see where this trail actually leads. I think this is what the park is all about. You know, you, we've just parked over there, right about a couple of minutes from here, and we've just taken this trail. Look what it says here. It takes days to cover this trail. I'm not gonna be here for days so let's go back but just to give you a sense yeah we can go there or that side or we can head back which is what we're doing we're gonna head back and go to another place we've got we've got lots of time but ah this is like a this is if you want to come here uh go for hiking or right, this is we've just come over to a lake i guess this is the team so this is like I think this is what Algonquin Park is all about. You you drive along and then you stop over at section that you want to stop and then you can explore. Um, we've landed here. All right, we are at uh, Canoe Lake. I'm trying to find a place where we can sit and eat. Because yeah, I'm very hungry. I've taken a Beyond Burger. A veggie wrap and onion rings. Right, so we've stopped over at this restaurant by the canoe lake. So on the way to I guess a lot of parks or trails, not parks, trails in Algonquin. If you're hungry, stop by the canoe lake and you'll we'll find this place right there. Just dine in and you can do a takeout which you've done, you've done a takeout. That is the way you have to do it. You come here, pick up something from a restaurant that I showed you, come back to a tea lake, sit, and enjoy your meal. Ah, speedboat! Doesn't get much better. So, we are at another trail, and this time we're gonna do a two kilometer walk. Two so. And the way you follow the trail is you follow these blue markings because they are on not every tree but some of them so you, you got to follow the blue markings or circular patches and then and just keep, keep walking or else you would actually get lost We figured this is like a loop 
so we're gonna still follow the blue marks then go up the trail a hike and then come back to the same place we have parked my car let's go yeah and use a stick there you go that's what I was looking for I was looking for another blue patch I didn't see it for quite some time so let's follow this way then we looped around the entire circle and we're here and I guess if you follow the path it's gonna hopefully lead us right out oh that's an arrow I see an arrow over here Len! alright oh. okay now if you go here you see that blue patch you're gonna start the hike again not again but you're gonna go in the hike where you've got this arrow it leads you out and that's the bench well now let's follow our yellow arrow and lead us out of this trail see I'm, I'm gonna show them the lake I'm gonna show you the, the boardwalk that I was talking about uh, yesterday That's the view. Whoa, the sun's really good. All right. So like I said, if you come here, you get all natural beauty. You see this? And there's speed boats over there. So this is like a very good holiday. Let's go, let's go get McDonald's. So if you come to Huntsville, Holland Drive is where you've got the plaza and there's Walmart, there's McDonald's and let's go. So we are at Peter Pit, uh, one of the best falafel places that I've found in Huntsville. Um, again, in the, in the Holland Drive, so that's Peter Pit. And like I said, if you're ever around in this area, make sure you come to Peter Pit. Another day, another vlog. Right then? Yeah. It's, almost, it's, it's like Friday now. I can't believe the week has gone by so quick. Um, and I go back to work on a Tuesday. So we gotta make the most of uh, whatever time we have here. Right now we're going to we're going to Dollar Tree to pick up something, uh, and after that we gonna probably stop by Tim Hortons and get breakfast, and then come back home. Yeah, let's go then. Yeah. All right, that is Dollar Tree. We are uh, back at Holland Drive. Now Holland Drive is like eight minutes from where I'm at, um, so it's it's really close by. So if you ever Wondering if you can get a uh, good Walmart or come to places like this. Grand View Signature Drive where I'm at is very convenient. This is a condo right there, 5231. And I think these are a set of luxury condos that they have that you can rent out in Airbnb. And that is where I'm at. Alright, I know I haven't shown you guys the condo that I'm at, but here's a quick look. So this is the patio, which overlooks the lake, if you can see. And you've got a table here, you've got somewhere to sit, and this is a pretty decent patio. Now we head back. This is the living area. You've got a fireplace, a television set. The impressive thing is the ceiling is fairly high. So that's the sofa, and uh, this is a sofa come bed. You can, it comes out, and if you're in a lays, you can watch TV while lying down, which makes it a really good atmosphere. And like I said, the fireplace, which I have no idea how to start here. That's the kitchen and we've got fridge, an oven, microwave and all the amenities. This is the passage. That's the front door. So and you head out and you're greeted with the parking. I've parked my car somewhere over there. And again, staircase. As you can tell this is a small neat little condo which of the, of the boardwalk yeah that's the boardwalk which i showed you guys a while back um that's where you can keep your stuff shoes and it gets very really messy 
that's the washroom all right this is the master bedroom you've got a couple of beds and a dresser and that's the window that outlooks the uh the outside area you've got lamps and the most important thing they've got they've got charging stations you've got to bring your own brick stuff um that's the dresser and that's just the closet which uh, has an uh, clean towels so for a family of three or even a family of four for the man this is the perfect place I mean, you're in a holiday. You're not. You're relaxing, and you're not doing too much. So, I really like this place. So again, uh, this entire thing cost us about seventeen hundred dollars for about a week. And uh, links in the description box below in case you want to book it. But a very good place, really accessible. Yeah, in Huntsville, Muskoka. All right, we are going to Rocket Falls right now. Um, we didn't do much uh, today. It's been raining the entire day. So for a good part of the day, it's 5 p.m. and it's it's stopped now. So we figured we just go to the falls, have a look, and and come back because we leave tomorrow morning. Uh, 10 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. is our checkout from our Airbnb, which is that. And uh, but before we leave, uh, Miss Coca, we'll go on one last hike. Uh, then we head back home. So for now, let's go to Racket Falls. See that? That's what the board says. Racket Falls viewing area. Now I can actually hear the falls. They, they're getting louder and louder. Sorry, that's the danger sign, so. So if you're someone who likes nature, who likes hiking uh, a bit, this is not a steep hike, but it's a good walk. If you like nature, if you like a peaceful atmosphere, this place, it, you, you can't go wrong with this. You really can't. Bike mode on. So this is the last trail that we're going to. It's got a two two reverse trail, and it's a 2.1 kilometer trail. So let's do it. And just like the other trails, look at that. You got to follow the blue patches. And again, this is a loop again. So 2.1 kilometers of a loop. That's the visitors register again. So I had to sign this on the other train. Oh, it's all wet. I'm gonna sign it anyways. There you go. I see there are some markings on the trees right there. Well, a cut tree. There was number one back there, and this is number two. I'm not sure what that is, but let's explore. Right, there is a small puddle that we have to navigate. So it's because of the rain that happened. Uh, yesterday so let's try and navigate that through here I've just noticed I have no service on my phone so I guess the network is not very good in this trail something to keep in mind successfully crossed can you guys hear that that's right silence this is great. I found myself a hiking stick. This really helps. Oh, look at that. Yeah. I have to be really careful here. This is a pretty steep cliff. Alright, um, that's another number. Number 9. I'm not entirely sure why this has been done, but way back I saw number two I guess I've missed between two and nine I've missed all the numbers but that's nine all right that's the blue patch that we follow let's go along I think we are ending the trail that's the that is where you come out and I can see my car right there so we're gonna have one last meal in Muskoka before we head back to Mississauga I've managed to find this Indian halal place it's called Marigold so let's go and 
and see how that is. That's the place. So like all good holidays, this has come to an end. <laughs>